sure is a lovely day to wear blue pants. <laughs> yes, indeed. It is a blue pants kind of day. <laughs> there it is. Oh, man. Everything is awesome. Yeah, yeah everything is cool when you're part of a... Of a, of a what? A, a bunny! Everything is cool when you're part of a bunny? Bunny! Bunny! Ah! Bunnyzilla! Ah! Ah! What's up, everybody? I'm Miles, and I'm excited to explore the city, meet new people, and discover more about the armor of God. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> I'd choose lightning fast speed. Or, no, actually, I'd, I'd go with superhuman strength. Oh, yeah. Wait, no. What about the ability to fly anytime, anywhere I wanted? Yep. All of those would be pretty cool, and they're really fun to daydream about, but we can never really have them. Oh, there's actually something pretty amazing, though, that's easy to access, and it has all the power we need to stand firm against the devil. Any guesses? It's prayer. That may not sound as flashy as super speed or super strength, but prayer connects us to the creator of all things. God, the most powerful ever. Prayer is simply talking to him and listening for him to speak. And when we pray, all the pieces of the armor of God work together to help us stand firm against the enemy. So once we put on the belt of truth, armor of godliness, good news boots, shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and hold up the sword of the spirit, then we're ready to stand firm and pray, trusting God for help and believing we'll have victory over anything the devil tries to send our way. Everybody, get on your feet. It's time to sing. Put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. Put on the full armor of God. The full armor of God. First things first, got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on First things first, you got the bell to truth. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on. can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. Put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. Put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against
is the evil one I put on the full armor of God the full armor of God Great singing you can take a seat It's time to play Spot the emoji Look for the hidden emoji in the city When you spot it shout it out You found it. Let's play again. See if you can spot the hidden emoji. Amazing. One more round. Look and find the hidden emoji. Shout it out when you see it. Great job. There's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the heart of each person on earth. God has given everyone who believes in him a mighty set of armor that helps them defeat the attacks of the enemy. But that isn't all God has given his people. God wants them to understand that once the armor is on, they have to stand firm and pray. After the Israelites went to the land that God had promised them, they had to fight the evil armies of people who were living there. Joshua was the man in charge of leading God's people. He was a great leader and had already defeated armies in the cities of Jericho and Ai. Joshua had also made a pact with an important city named Gibeon. He promised that if they were ever under attack, his army would come and help them. Now, the king of another city, Jerusalem, wanted to take over the city of Gibeon. But the king was afraid of Joshua and all that God had done through him. So that king went to several other cities and gathered their armies to form one large army to attack Gibeon. When they attacked, the people of Gibeon rushed a message to Joshua, begging him to come rescue them from the large army headed their way. Joshua gathered his army, including his best fighting men, and marched all night long to surprise the enemies. God threw the big army into a panic so that Joshua and his troops could defeat their enemies. The Israelites even chased after them to make sure no one escaped. Joshua was ready to finish the battle against his enemies, but he needed more daylight. Joshua knew that the most powerful thing he could do was pray. So Joshua prayed a really big prayer. He asked God to make the sun stand still over Gibeon and to make the moon stand still over the valley of Ajalon. God made the sun stand still and the moon stop until the Israelites had completely won the battle over their enemies. There has never been a day like this before or since. God was fighting for his people, and God is fighting for us too. When we pray, God will hear us. We should pray all kinds of prayers because God wants us to pray and ask for his help whenever we need it. God also wants us to pray for others when they need his help. When we are facing trouble from the enemy, we can put on the armor of God, stand firm, and pray. Stand firm and pray. City rat versus city cat dance battle. This side of the room will dance with the city cats, and this side of the room will dance with the city rats. Get on your feet and help your team win. And I'm Joe Miller, coming to you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. 
We've been out here talking to everyday people in this amazing city about how they use the armor of God. But our next guest has something even more to share. Her name is Izzy, and I can't wait for you to meet her. Come on. Izzy, hey girl, what's up? Whoa, it's really you, Joe from Joe on the Go. I'm so excited to meet you. I'm right back at ya. So we've all been talking a lot about the armor of God, and I hear you have something special to add. But before we get into that, I have to know, what are you up to? I'm glad you asked. I'm just getting ready for the SFP club. The SPF club? Like the sunscreen? What kind of club is that? Because I totally sunburn if I'm by the pool too long. Maybe I should join. <laughs> no, not the SPF. It's the SFP club. It means stand firm and pray. It's kind of our motto. That's a cool name and motto. Tell us about it. Well, we have been meeting for about a year now, and it's kids just like me who get together and read our Bibles and pray. I wanted a cool place to hang out, where we could grow in our friendship with Jesus and even reach out to new friends. I need more deets for sure. Who goes to this club? How often do you meet? <gasps> Are there snacks? That's a lot of questions for sure, Joe. Okay, um, well, anyone that wants to come can go to this club. We have so many friends that invite their friends who invite their friends who invite, well, you get the point. That's a lot of friends of friends of friends. Love it. We meet every other week after school. And yes, of course there are snacks. Cheese balls and Oreos are a fave. Double stuff, nice. Okay, so this SFP club is like success story times a thousand. Yeah, it's so fun. But you know, it hasn't always been easy. We had some kids who were super mean about our club, calling us names and making fun of us. That is straight up bullying. It was. I was so bummed out at first, but the other kids in the club texted me and let me know how important it was not just to put on the full armor of God, but to also stand firm and pray. And so that's what I did. The best advice ever. So what happened next? We kept getting together, and during our club meetings, we would take time to pray for the kids that were mean. Then we spent time trying to get to know them and figured out they were just saying those things because they wanted to be in the club too and didn't know how to join. Oh, man. So did you let them in your club, even though they had been mean? I didn't have to let them in. We think everyone should be welcome into the SFP club, so of course they could come. And here's the coolest part. Now, most of them go to the club too. This club sounds like the coolest. And it's not just about the cheese balls. You really put into action exactly what you need to do each and every day after you put on the full armor of God. It's all in the name, SFP. Stand, Stand firm and, and pray. And you know, Joe, that's what we all need to do. Cause when we stand firm and pray, we'll be ready for anything the enemy throws our way. Oh, guys, it just goes to show you, young or old, everyone can put on the full armor of God and then stand firm and pray. You know what? You should stay for the club. I'd love to. I can even help you finish setting up. Hey, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me. Each and every week, we have met some really amazing people in our city who put the full armor of God to use in some crazy awesome ways. This is Joe on the Go, and I'll see you around. Stand firm and pray. Everybody, get on your feet. It's time to sing.
singing. You can take a seat. Let's review what we've learned today. Try to memorize the cards before the timer runs out. Time's up. Which number has the match? Shout it out. You found the first match. True or false? Once you put on all the pieces of God's armor, you don't have anything else to do and can take a nap. False. When you have all the pieces of armor on, then you can stand firm and pray. Let's find the next match. Find the match. Shout it out. You got it. Here's our next question. What happened when Joshua prayed? The sun and moon stood still or the sky filled with clouds? You got it. Joshua prayed a really big prayer and asked God to make the sun and moon stand still. And God did it. Let's find another one. Which number has the match? Shout it out. It's time for one more question. Can God hear us when we pray? Yes, God always hears our prayers and he makes us ready for anything the devil brings our way. Great job playing our game. Everybody say this together. Every day, I will put on the full armor of God. I put on the belt of truth. To fight the devil's lies. I put on the armor of godliness. To protect my heart and do what's right. I put on the good news boots. To tell others about Jesus. I hold up the shield of faith. To block what the devil sends my way. I put on the helmet of salvation. To remember God always loves me. I hold up the sword of the spirit. God's word is my best weapon. Now, I stand firm and pray. Hey God, thank you for helping us put on your armor every day. Please give us everything we need to stand firm. We love you. Amen.